Scientists in Australia say they found a black hole so large that it eats the equivalent of one sun per day. And it's powering a Khazar, astronomers say, may be the brightest known object in the universe. According to the new study, the black hole has a mass about 17 billion times larger than the Earth's sun. Just think about that. Rachel Webster is a collaborator on the Black Hole Study at Australia National University. Uh, Professor, thanks for being with us. When I read that this black hole uh, eats the equivalent of one sun per day, it's the fastest growing black hole ever recorded. I'm, I'm not sure what to make of it. What does it all mean in layman's terms? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a very good question. Um, it, it is already a very massive black hole. And the fact that it's growing so quickly, it just means it's one of the giants of the universe, a, a real monster, in fact. Um, and this challenges our ideas about how these black holes, you know, come into existence and, and how they grow. Yeah, I, yeah and, and like I said, the information makes my brain explode. It, it, 17 billion times larger than our sun, 500 trillion times brighter um, than the sun the most luminous object known in the universe. How do you get your head around that sort of information? And, and does it all excite you as a scientist? Oh, it, it definitely excites us as scientists because, um, you know, the formation, you know, when we ask a question about how did these black holes even come to be in the universe? You know, how were they born? Um, and how did they get to be so big when the universe was so young? Uh, so these are, these are things that we don't have any clear understanding of at this point in time. So when we find a monster like this one, it, it really challenges all the ideas, all the preconceptions that we've got. Yeah. So, so, so what are the impacts? I, don't, I, I guess we shouldn't be worried, right? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this, um, this, this guy is, um, it's really on the far side of the universe. So um, it's, it's not going to affect us in any way whatsoever. Uh, Right. Uh, the, the, the other thing, the light, the light from this black hole has travelled over 12 billion years to reach us. Uh, that's another hard to get your head around factoid. Uh, does that make what you're learning now a little out of date? What, what more might we learn now we know it's there? <laughs> Well, yes, of course it does um, make it a little out of date. I mean, goodness knows what the black hole is doing now. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, with things very far away, because light travels at a finite speed, um, we can only see those things as they were a long, long time ago. Yeah. And, and, and what do you actually, when you, when you look at it through these amazing telescopes, what, what do you see? Well, the first image that we have on, of it is actually pretty boring. It just looks like a star in our galaxy, which of course it is not. Um, but we get lots of different colours uh, for the object and then we discover that it's not actually a star at all. We think it's one of these things that we call a quasar, which is really just a very massive black hole, you know, um, chewing up material. Um, and then in order to really understand the details, we go to a telescope in this case, the very large telescope in Chile, which is run by the European Southern Observatory, and we get a spectrum of, of, the, of the object. And from that spectrum, we can start to deduce all the, all the facts that you've got in front of us. 